Steve, how's it going? Hey, Jesse, how are you? I'm good, Steve. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to do this with you this morning, man. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been over in that neck of the woods. When was the last time you were in Springfield, if ever? Man, that would have been in the early to mid-90s. Live show here? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Do you remember the arena by chance? Probably not. You've been to a thousand no, of them. No, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's changed since I've been there. <laughs> Probably has. Probably I'm sure has. it's grown a lot. It has. Yeah, it really has. You know, we're, we're uh, market size speaking, you know, we're, we're moving up as, as the years go on, so. Hey, how far are you guys away from Joplin? Uh, we're about an hour, about an hour from Joplin. Okay, because I remember we used to wrestle that Shrine Mosque that that tornado tore down, what, a couple of years ago. Yeah, we, we got a Shrine Mosque here um, in Springfield. And, yeah, a few years back, Joplin got, got hit real hard. By they the, got the, hammered. You know, they did, yeah, probably the worst. I mean, they made a movie about it, you know, like, it's, it's probably the worst, yeah. worst I've seen, you know, <laughs> growing up in Tornado Alley, you know, so. And, and I've been there in South Texas. Now I'm out in, in the West Coast dealing with yeah. earthquakes, but down <laughs> in South Texas, it was tornadoes and hurricanes. Getting you shook up. All right, Steve, you ready to get started? Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jesse Inman, and joining me today, Hall of Famer, the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve, thank you for joining us this morning, man. It is a pleasure to have you here. Hey, thanks for having to spread the word about Straight Up Steve Austin. I'm really excited about this show, and hopefully it does well. Yeah, I know you've done quite a few different ventures since your uh, wrestling career, um, you know, since your last match anyway. I know you're still still not done yet, of course, but, you know, talk to me about Straight Up Steve Austin airing tonight right after Monday Night Raw on the USA Network. Talk to me about what people can expect. Man, I, I think people can expect a good time. My guest uh, tonight is Rob Riggle, former, former U.S. Marine. Of course, you know, he's been through Saturday Night Live. Uh, he's done uh, stand-up stuff. He's on big screens and television screens everywhere. He's really gaining a lot of traction. And so to get a chance to hang out with a guy who's been as successful as he is in his acting endeavors, who comes from the U.S. Marines, that was something that uh, I was really looking forward to because I love the men and women that serve our country. And we always do physical activities no matter who I'm talking to. And so to bring some of the uh, you know, areas that Rob was in, being a Marine, we were in a tank crushing cars. So it's not every day you wake up in the morning, get in the tank and start crushing cars. So I had an absolute blast doing it. Yeah, now from what I've seen, the clips that you guys have, uh, you know, that you've had out there showing this, it looks like you guys had a ton of fun. And Rob Riggle, Kansas City guy, big Chiefs fan, so he'll always have my respect in that regard. But, you know, I know that you've also got Baker Mayfield on this season for Straight Up Steve Austin. And uh, recently, some video came out of him doing a little, you know, beer chugging himself, something I know that you are an expert in. What do you think about his shotgunning technique as opposed to the beer bashing technique? Your thoughts? Hey, I gave him an A plus because he bit into that can old school with his tooth and popped the top. Uh, you know, and he was doing it to rally those fans. I guess he was at a baseball game, I believe. Right. But I love that guy, and he's been so well received by that community. Cleveland absolutely loves that guy, and he's never been the chosen one. He's always had to work his tail off for everything that he's gotten, and he was the chosen one when he went number one in the draft and he won the Heisman. I get a chance to hang out with this guy, and, and some people think maybe he's a little overconfident or arrogant. He's not. <laughs> He's a very confident young man with a great head on his shoulders, and I really respect him, and I, I'm so glad I got a chance to spend time with him and get to know him because he's a gamer, and I'm looking for big things out of that guy this year. Steve, what's gone into making this show for you, you know, different than some of the other stuff you've done, like Broken Skull Ranch? What is it that, that has made this show different, you know, preparing for it, that is? Well, I mean, you, you know, you're kind of, uh, you know, you're walking and chewing bubblegum at the same time. You're multitasking. You know, with my podcast, it's me one-on-one -on -one with my guests. With some of the shows that I've hosted, normally I'm barking instructions and I'm asking questions, but I'm, I'm kind of just leading the charge. This is a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, exchange. And I'm not just grilling people. I, I, I want to create conversation and we're sharing stories. So I also tell people about, you know, things from my life and, 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 and things of that nature. So it's not always about me just interviewing on someone. It's about creating this chemistry and this bond, and I, they, they get a chance to learn about me, and I get a chance to learn about them, but, you know, knowledge is key, and 
there was a lot of learning, you know, curves, you know, going into this show. So hopefully we do well enough that I'd love to apply my knowledge to another season because there's a lot going on. Well, Steve, last question for you, and we'll let you run here. Of any of your former opponents that you've tangled up with in the ring, who would you like most to get on straight up Steve Austin in a fantasy land, you know, and catch up with? Who would that, who would that be? Well, I, you know, automatically, The Rock. He's the number one movie star in the world. He was an up and comer, a blue chipper back in the day when he walked through the door. Now look what he's ascended to. I would love to have The Rock on Straight Up Steve Austin if we get a season two. Let, let me say when we get season two. Yeah, that's right. Well, we'll start with season one, which actually starts tonight, right after Monday Night Raw, 10 Central. For those of us here in the Ozarks, Steve, been a pleasure, man. You take care. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.